it's Stelios from Batman Studios and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Toy Story 4 Toy Story 4 RV, RV Vacation it is recommended for ages 4 and up as this is a 4 plus set as you can see right there on the box it says 4 and up it is set number 10769 and let's just get into the review of the set because that's what you came here for So getting into the packaging of the set as I lift up the tripod. Hmm. As you can see it has artwork of all the characters that are featured in the set. We have Jessie, the yodeling cowgirl, an alien from Pizza Planet, Rex, and a new character in the film, and probably the only time we'll see him in a Toy Story movie, Forky, because I don't know if it's real or not, but I believe it is. Toy Story 4 is said to be the final film in a Toy Story franchise, which is why I said that in my Toy Story 4 movie review. And, a, and it also shows a picture of the set. It has a picture has the Lego Toy Story 4 right up here. Up here is the actual size of a Jessie minifigure. As you can see, like all four plus sets have an easy, an easy perfection start. We have all of the sets and all of that stuff you don't really care about. No, I think that anyone cares about the packaging when it comes to Lego sets. For the instructions, they. Ah, that's weird. They. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course, it's not weird. None of the Toy Story 4 sets have advertisements for the rest of the sets at the back. But now, I mean, now, let's just get into the review of the set, because that is what you came here for. So, starting off. We have Grand Bassin. Now, spoilers, this was not seen in the movie. Like, Bonnie never goes to anything like this in the movie Toy Story 4. But if we actually saw her going on vacation, Grand Bassin is probably the place where she would have gone to. This is probably the place where Bonnie would have gone for her vacation. It has an entrance. So, like, if someone is riding the RV, then they have to enter. Just all of that stuff when you have to enter. Oh, and I accidentally broke off this entrance piece as I try not to laugh because a new thing I've recently noticed that I've been doing on this channel is I keep going, I don't want to say it because it will annoy me, but I keep doing a really weird laugh and I did it in my two previous videos and I'm doing my 100% best to absolute not laugh in this video. So I'm sorry if I accidentally laugh and this hot dog was on there, I don't know why. And away. Also, this is a printed piece. There are no print, um, I mean stickers in this set, which is good because I don't like stickers at all. They annoy me a lot. And now let's get to the rest of this set. We have the log cabin, I believe. It has a nice little bench where you can seat some minifigures. It has a plate with a nice yummy apple and a nice mug. I guess you can say it's full of coffee. We have a hot dog here, and we also have a barbecue so you can toast some lovely warm marshmallows. Mmm, now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Damn it, I just laughed, I'm sorry. And we also have a lamp here. Oh, and we also have a log for an ending seat. And here's the rest of the log cabin, which we don't really care about. It's not really detailed. And now let's just get into the RV van, which is what this set is named after. Now, 
even though this is made of a four plus set it feels like something you would get as a normal ordinary set but just like four plus the eyes we, if we open it up we can see the interior we have a toilet which lego minifigures don't go to the toilet and neither do minifigures but again the toys they're just toys in the movie and the funny thing is is that you can actually fit a minifigure in here like say jesse for example which i don't know I've, i i wish that a human was included but again i understand it would make no sense but hopefully in the future we'll get a human like say if there's like a lego pixar minifigure series maybe for the toy story films you can get a human for each character like andy for toy story 2 bonnie for toy story 3 and so on we have a yummy croissant mm, oh, why am i getting so hungry this video is making me really hungry because of all of this food that you find in the set we have another red mug i guess this one can be full of water in the sink we have a little driver's seat here to put a minifigure and putting the roof back on we have a ladder so you can climb up and if you take off the roof we have a nice cozy bed mm, now i'm getting tired now let's get into the minifigures everyone's favorite part of the lego set or at least my favorite part starting off with jesse the odling cowgirl of course i can't see woody's round up but here is the jesse minifigure it is the one that is found in the toy story 4 set has a nice new hair and hat combo piece it also has a hole in it so you can stick this bow into her hair it's very accurate just like the movie and much like the woody minifigure even though it would be better if she had a molded head this face print is really really useful for like citizen minifigures and her torso is very detailed it looks like how it is in the movie if we take it off you can see printing for the pull string oh and you just saw her alternate face but her alternate face but yes she does have an alternate face oh and here's the pull string ah, i wonder what jesse's pull string quotes are because her pull string is never pulled in any of the movies so i don't know i wonder what her pull string quotes would be her legs are dual molded and again they're very accurate to the movie oh no and her accessory is just um a camera yeah just a camera nothing really too interesting then we have the Kalar. yes we have another alien this is the exact same alien that is found in the carnival thrill coaster set which was my previous video which wasn't too far but i'm recording a lot of these videos back to back or at least the, today's videos i'm recording back to back as i plan on uploading another video tomorrow because i'm going to legoland soon and the best part is that i'm going there on the one year anniversary of my channel so i plan on doing some vlogs for legoland if any of you want to see a vlog for legoland let me know in the comments but um yeah Again, this alien isn't too interesting. It's the exact same alien that comes in the Carnival Thrill coaster set. Oh, and also, he comes with this skateboard. Which, why would the alien really need a skateboard? Next we have... Roar! Are you scared? Tell me honestly. No, seriously, I mean it. Was my Rex Roar really scary? And I'm sorry if I scared a lot of you kids watching this YouTube video. I really hope I didn't. But this Rex is really cool. It's the only Rex I have. And I think they improved on it a lot from the original 2010 set. Not only does it have an eyebrow. Um, um, his arms move up and down. Which is all we, really, we need him to do. And then his legs can move. That's all his legs can do. He has this tail. And this is the only Rex I have as as um like something for the Toy Story toys. I do not have any 
Jesse dolls. Like, I do have a Woody and Buzz toys, but this is the only Rex I have. That Jesse is the only Jesse I have. I do have an alien. And I've made my own Horky, which, speaking of Horky, let's get into him. Oh, and keep in mind, he is not a toy! But, yeah, here is Horky. It's a nice, new moulded piece. Which I really like. The back is re it's supposed to represent what a spork would look like. Which I actually made my own forky but I had to make it from a spoon and then just like cut on the top because I don't have any sporks. But maybe one day I'll buy a spork and then switch them around. I don't know. But this is a really nicely moulded piece to represent a decorated eating utensil. Jeez, why is there why is there so much food in this set that makes me hungry? Like I'm getting really hungry now because of all the food that's in this set. I think I might have to have my lunch before I go on to film in the next video. I nearly laughed and I don't want to laugh in this video. Yeah, that's pretty much all for Forky. Now it's time to move on to the final verdict. Which I will do while I set up everything. So overall, I think that this set is actually probably one of the best Toy Story 4 sets that you can buy. Like if you have a, a like this is perfect for younger Lego fans who also like Toy Story. Like, I think that younger Lego fans would love this, especially um, younger Lego fans who love Toy Story. However, this Lego set can be for all ages. So, overall, I give this set about an 8 out of 10. I do think it could be a little bit more detailed, but as I said in the Woody and RC review, and as I said in the carnival field coaster review this is a four plus set and you don't exp and you don't expect much detail to come from sets for younger lego consumers so yeah thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye bye and have a nice day